Calculate the limit. The limit contains an integral, and it can be written as, limit of the integral of e to the power of, t to the power of 2024, dt, from 0 to x, minus x, over x to the power of 2025, as x tends to 0. It is easy to check that, when x tends to 0, the denominator tends to 0, and the numerator also tends to 0. So the limit is in an indeterminate form. So we can calculate the limit, using L. Hoppital's rule, which states that, limit of f of x, over g of x, as x tends to c, is equal to, limit of f dash of x, over g dash of x, as x tends to c. That is, taking the derivatives of numerator and denominator. By applying L. Hoppital's rule, the limit is equal to, limit of derivative of the integral of, e to the power of, t to the power of 2024, dt, from 0 to x, minus x, with respect to x, over derivative of, x to the power of 2025, with respect to x, as x tends to 0. Derivative of the integral of e to the power of t to the power of 2024, dt, from 0 to x, minus x, with respect to x, is equal to, e to the power of x to the power of 2024, minus 1. Derivative of x to the power of 2025, with respect to x, is equal to, 2025, times x to the power of 2024. We can easily check that, when x tends to 0, both the numerator and the denominator tend to 0. So the limit is still in an indeterminate form. By applying L. Hoppital's rule again, the limit is equal to, limit of derivative of e to the power of, x to the power of 2024, minus 1, with respect to x, over derivative of 2025, times x to the power of 2024, with respect to x, as x tends to 0. Derivative of e to the power of, x to the power of 2024, minus 1, with respect to x, is equal to, 2024, times x to the power of 2023, times e to the power of, x to the power of 2024. Derivative of 2025, times x to the power of 2024, with respect to x, is equal to, 2025, times 2024, times x to the power of 2023. 2024, times x to the power of 2023 in the numerator, and that in the denominator cancel. So the limit is equal to, limit of e to the power of x to the power of 2024, over 2025, as x tends to 0. e to the power of x to the power of 2024, tends to 1, as x tends to 0. So the limit is equal to, 1 over 2025. That is the answer.